ABC 36 News at Noon is brought to you by Trackside Restaurant and Bourbon Bar. Hey folks, welcome back. The Kentucky Veterinary Medical Association helping to promote, protect, and advocate for the veterinary profession. Vets are helping to purchase pet oxygen masks through the KDMA and then provide them to fire departments across the state. Great idea. Their goal is to have every fire truck throughout the state equipped with a pet oxygen mask. Mm -hmm. Joining us today is Executive Director of the KVMA, Deborah Hamelback, and Bourbon County Fire Chief Lloyd Campbell. Guys, thank you so much for coming today. Thank you for having us. You got to introduce this to your special guest yes, star here too. This is Molly, and she is our 13-year-old pointer. Oh, she's beautiful. <laughs> she is beautiful. She keeps slipping on here, so she she's like, what's yeah, going on? Not quite down with the studio here, but that's okay. <laughs> she's slipping and sliding. So she's our model. <laughs> so tell us about this pet oxygen mask yes. program. So actually, I, uh, our retired director yes. uh, of 31 years, Louise Cook, actually had this idea of the pet oxygen mask program. Mm -hmm. And once I came on board back in 2018, we talked to our board and we were like, let's start doing this program. Yeah. Mm. And so I contacted a few fire departments and actually, uh, you actually helped me get in touch with the uh, head of the state. That, um, is, that is correct. Right. And so we found out, oh, Molly, how many actually um, wanted to have masks. Yeah. Yes. And so what we did is through our veterinarians, they order the masks through the KVMA. Mm -hmm. And I order them, drop ship them, and then the veterinarians actually donate them to the fire department. Wonderful. That's yep. incredible. And a lot of them have had their police station or their news stations and newspaper come on board yeah. as well. Yeah. Yep. And mm -hmm. so it's an education process and also helps in the most, you know, emergency um, you know, time and yeah. in right. the, you know, difficult time and the first responders are there to help the animals yeah. so, along the people. So Chief, how important is this to have this gear mm -hmm. on hand? I mean, the, the design of these is specifically for, for our pets, correct? That is correct. So so it's very important. I know me and Ms. Hamill back here spoke, you know, we have had a save there in Bourbon County. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a pet that was trapped in a, uh, a structure fire there. Okay. Uh, upon our arrival, our uh, uh, staff was able to uh, rescue the pet out of the burning building. Oh, wow. And of course, we administer oxygen and everything, and and uh, got the pet back, and then it was uh, transported by animal control to a local vet, and uh, the pet had a full recovery. So it's it, wonderful. It, it's That's very great. successful, very important. So you're to you're the crediting pilot. these masks designed for the pet to for saving uh, that pet's life. Yes, sir. That very is correct. Good. That's yeah, awesome. I, I believe if we didn't have that at probably would have been successful. Oh, wow. Well, these are yeah. family members just yes. like anyone. Yeah. Oh, yes. So uh, I'm really exactly. glad to hear about this program. You have a couple of examples here for us mm -hmm. to, to take a look at as so, well. So we do. This here is for the, the larger breed animals, the larger dogs and stuff. And, uh, you know, we can kind of demonstrate here with, with Molly if she... Uh, she'll cooperate. If she'll cooperate yeah, yeah, with no, us no. Here. Oh, she's happy. Yeah. Oh, look at that. yeah, she seems pretty happy. So oh, we we'll just place Perfect it over, fit. Place yeah. it over the muzzle with high flow O2. Uh-huh. Nice. Uh, okay. And, and, you know, just it, it's kind of on the same concept as a non-rebreather for for a human or something. It's mm -hmm. the same concept, right. just, yeah. just constructed a little different. I'm sure out of absolute desperation in the past, you've tried human masks, we, we and, and the oxygen's <laughs> just not working with the snout, right? That, that is correct. So uh, you know, all we can do there is what we refer to as a blow-by, mm -hmm. so okay. they don't get the 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 correct percentage of right. oxygen there. Gotcha. So these here are contained, you know, contained within there. So. Uh, you can give them the the right amount of oxygen to. Well, I, lo I love I that too. these are in the in the kit now. I right. do so too. So, what are the goals of the program? So, I think Deborah can. Yeah. Can the, the goals of the program is essentially we want to have every single fire truck or ambulance or first responder to have access to a pet oxygen mask. Yes. Mm -hmm. So thus far, we have sold. Um, Donated over 455 masks wow. throughout the state. Great. Uh, we've had over 100 veterinary clinics that have purchased them and donated them to the fire departments or their volunteer fire departments. Mm -hmm. uh, veterinarians are going to continue to do that program. Um, also, one thing that if you if if you wanted to donate as well, if you know yeah. that there's a fire department, mm -hmm. you can actually email me at the KVMA office at info at kvma.org. Okay. Perfect. And so we, you know, it's a program open to everybody, but that is our goal is to make sure that every single fire truck is equipped with a pet oxygen mask. Well, now it's our yes. goal too. It Thank is. you. So important. Yeah. You Thank guys. you. Thank you so much for for looking out for our family members, Absolutely. our four-legged furry family members. That's right. Uh, so important, <laughs> and uh, appreciate you. everything you guys do for us. Thank You're you. Welcome. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Back in just a second, folks. Stick around.